Sometimes when we're watching stuff for our sister show, God Awful Movies, we'll get an hour in and start wondering if we're physically capable of making it to the end. Well, we're here tonight to prove that the same thing can happen with a 16-minute video in this <laughs> installment of God Awful Minis. So tell us, Heath, what will we be breaking down today? <sighs> we watched The Gift from 1977. It's the story of my relationship with my dad. Plus, it's like Mormon <laughs> or something. That's the difference. Yep, yep. And Eli, how bad was this mini? Man, I wish I'd read Heath's answer before I wrote mine. All right. Well, if you love the passive-aggressive final text from your dad before you stop talking to him, but you wish there was an old-timey <laughs> Christmas movie to take his side while he did it, you <laughs> will love this movie. The dad is right. You shouldn't sass him. It's it's true. It's, 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 <laughs> he works really hard. Is there anything you guys want to nominate this one for being the best at being the worst at? Yeah, I'm going to go with best worst cow making it really fucking weird. Absolutely, so, he does. <laughs> there's some cow milking that goes on. Uh -huh. We see a cow being milked. Mm -hmm. And then we get a reaction shot of the cow. Like they pan, they cut away from the teats being pinched, which can't be fun. But then the cow in the reaction shot is like, Mm, I'm loving this. I fucking love. Yeah, no, the cow yeah. is very much into it. I think the yeah, cow's wearing a ball gag, and the kid, the kid doing the milk is like, I don't. Uh, this is a pretty good technique. I'm gonna stop. Stranger danger. <laughs> so, and of course, I was gonna go with best worst reminding me how old I am. Right, this came from 1977. I was born in 76, and looking at how antiquated and old timey 1977 looks that it's really hard not to reflect on just how goddamn many years I have already gotten on this planet. We should just be grateful you don't have a loud background hiss, no illusions. Yeah, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> and I'm going to go with best worst gender equality. That's right, podcast listener. It's time for my heel turn. I go full MRA while watching this yeah. movie. <laughs> All right, so we're going to open this one up with a very 1977 Brigham University logo. Yes, this is brought, brought to us by uh, BYU. And it's followed by an old barn in the snow. Yeah. yeah. The panning shot was so boring, I was already at 1.5 speed at this point in the movie. Smart. I was like, too slow, 1.5. Very, very slow. But we do get to see some of the character names here in the opening credits. The characters' names that I saw here were... Tav, T-A-V, mm -hmm. Berta, Laura Jean, Mary Jean, and Carol Ann. And I was like, oh, I quit. I quit. <laughs> yeah. uh, 16-minute movie. One name for your kids, Mormons. Jesus. Relax. Yeah, right? <laughs> Try to make it seem like they have more kids when they list them all off, you know, because they're mm -hmm. jealous of the people who have 11. Yeah, so we, we pan very slowly across this kid's bedroom. Dad comes and wakes him up. He's like, wake up, kid. It's already 4 a.m. Don't you go sleep all damn day? 4 a.m. Yep. Hey, hey, don't have a farm if you can't work it by yourself. Hire a children are not fucking free labor provided by your orgasms. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. And the answer to 4 a.m. get up now is fuck you. Yeah, that's the correct answer. I think so. Yeah, absolutely not. So we watch little Sam wake up. They go into the barn together. The dad's like, which chore do you want? He says, I'll take the cows. And he's like, yeah, no, the cows are into it when you milk them. Yeah. Um, cows or pigs? I'm going to go with emancipation lawyer, actually, I think, is <laughs> what I will choose instead of the, the ones you offered. Question, Heath, Noah, you're the more poor adjacent. Is pushing around hay an important part of farming? It feels yeah. like the cows could just come to the hay. Why does it need to be... He's mucking out the stalls. He's mucking out the stalls, damn it. I don't know what that means. Okay, I don't think there's anything that happens other than moving hay around in my head. I'm just trying <laughs> to picture it right now. They're just shoveling stuff around. Yeah. Also, is it true that pigs won't eat unless you speak to them in a falsetto voice? Is that yeah, a part of it? Is that, like a, that actually yeah, is true. Okay, a dinner and a show thing. All right. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> I wanted the pigs to like yell back, be like, I'm going to eat the slob. That's you. That's you. We don't <laughs> sound you. like That's that. That's what you sound like. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we, so dad feeds the pigs and, and mucks the stalls or whatever. He comes back and little Sam has fallen asleep whilst milking the cows. Right. But that's like, that's not a lazy thing that people do. That's a child who is so exhausted by his 4 a.m. wake. He's like, stop slacking off with your neurons. Like, he doesn't have <laughs> fucking control of that, Dad. 
Yeah, no, dad just did this entire montage, like just barks chores at him, tells him he's doing shit wrong. If I had to do this much shit in a, in a full fucking day, let alone before sun came up, I'd complain about it for a week and a half. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Dad, I was reading Wealth of Nations by Adam Smith. We should do, you know, comparative <laughs> advantage stuff, specialized. This is dumb. Our whole thing is dumb. Small farm? Really? Come on, man. Yeah. You? <laughs> Just you? You came here and you thought, you know what I'll do? I'll come out of workforce. <laughs> So meanwhile, we cut inside. Mom's inside cooking breakfast. And that's when I wrote my notes. Oh, fuck. Yeah, they have to do all this shit before eating anything. Ugh. Yeah. Also, I should point out that these people probably shouldn't have had kids when they are 97 years old. I know they're probably in their like early 40s, late 30s. And 1977 was just rough on the skin. But I they guess. look sunbeaten. Yeah. The scene withered. starts with like Cloris Leachman making breakfast and she's supposed to right. be mom. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's unrealistic. Or is it? Yeah. Also, just worth noting that these parents talk to each other like they're about to sit down to negotiate a peace treaty in Northern Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> they totally do. He calls her mother and she just loathes him with every word out of her mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The dad calls her mother when he walks in. And I was like, okay, so it's grandma, maybe. That makes, oh, no, it's probably a Mike Pence thing. No, it's a Mike Pence thing. Yeah, they got you. Yeah. So the kid goes into worship. It's the kind of thing that you have to put an R in the word wash to, to properly describe. He goes to worship. And we hear mom and dad talking. Mom's like, wow, him getting up at 4 a.m. Maybe we should get him an alarm clock for Christmas. And I'm like, oh, yeah, just what he wanted. I'm sure. <laughs> He's a very That's excited. the problem. It's not or, sudden uh, enough, his 4 a.m. wake maybe up. Maybe we hire an adult. I don't know. One yeah. or the other. Maybe yeah. we don't base our family's wealth on the workforce that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> yeah. So, but as Sam comes in, he basically overhears his mom going like, don't worry, someday he'll... Do something that gives you some kind of reason to be proud of him or something, I guess. Yeah, I wrote my notes. Don't worry. Someday he'll be worthy of love and trust. <laughs> <laughs> so Sam hears that. He goes upstairs. He's without breakfast or anything. Mom goes up to check on him. Also, there's this weird squeaky ass step that farts every time anybody goes upstairs. And it is the star of the show to me. Main character I of the had, movie. I yeah. had three of those in my house for my entire childhood. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sides of the stairs, man. Amateur. I, yeah, I learned. I would go outside. I would go all the way outside. Obviously. I did a big wide stance mm -hmm. going up yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I like that he's sitting on his chair, the kid, but backwards. Mm -hmm. So when mom comes in, she's like, hey, Sam, oh, you're, you're already doing the turnaround chair thing. Kind of fucks up my pep talk plan. I was going to do like a pep <laughs> so talk. All right. Uh, well, can we, can we switch? Can we here. swamp? Yeah. She walks in. She's like, are you upset? Because your dad remarked at what a fail you are for not propping up his non-existent workforce. And he's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. He's like, hey, mom, what does dad mean by his loathing and shame of me? And she's like, well, you know, um, he loves you, but he's keeping it a secret. <laughs> yes. She goes, well, she says he's trying to give you something. And he says, what's he trying to give me? And this is her real answer. Um... What do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> yeah. And he says an adult. I think he says a man, which is a man. Yeah. My, my own man. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, okay. That's better. I thought he just said a man. And I was like, cool. That's a lock. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> Great. Dad's giving you the time dimension as a gift. That's the gift. <laughs> At first, I thought it was going to be gumption. And it's sort of both. Well, Great. it is gumption. Right. Yeah, exactly. What do you want to be? I, I'm my own man. I'm like, woof. What yeah. choose? Come on, go astronaut. It's 1977, kid. And this is where mom says, your dad loves you. He just can't say it. And he says, yeah, neither can I. And I wrote in my notes. See, that's what we call cause and effect, Sam. Yeah. That's a cause <laughs> right. and an effect. That's also what we call 1977. You don't yeah, find right, love right, until yeah. you're in your 40s. That's Fuck up the aura frame ad. <laughs> <laughs> none, of this, none, of this, none of this. None of the things you said made any sense. And then mom says... And I want, I want, I'm going to be vulnerable here. I'm going to open up my heart. She says, there are other ways of saying it with your actions. And I need you to tell me that's not, you should fuck your dad. Because it definitely <laughs> feels like she's telling Sam to fuck his dad. You can give him a handy, for example. Yeah, no, but she, what she's saying is that it's okay to withhold terms of his in, uh, affection as long as you make up for it 
with awesome gifts. And I'm like, I don't think that's how it works at all. Plus, you were talking about getting this kid an alarm yeah. clock. So Also, what the fuck is this kid going to do with that information? Like, oh, let me just uh, pop up Amazon, get dad a gift card for hay? What are we talking about right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the key here is that now he's on the hunt for a perfect gift for dad. And I'm like, why? Dad is an asshole. All we've seen him do is asshole up to this point. Right. right. Even if you have money, it's money he's given you. So it's this weird fucking take the tithes that fa papa has given you and buy a, le a liege for God. It's fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, so it's the next day. We cut to him looking through the Sears catalog at Ty's. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. I thought it was a phone book of bullshit. I thought it was That's a phone what book. I wrote in my notes. <laughs> it's very large. <laughs> yeah. It's huge. Yeah. Noah, is this how you bought your engagement ring for Lucinda? You have to tell us. All right, guys. <laughs> I, I, I was wanting to, I was wanting to be like, no, it was way, but it was 1997. It was only 20 years away from this, and it was pre-Amazon, I do believe. So, yeah, that's actually a pretty good question. No. It's not. <laughs> so, yeah, so he's looking through ties. He's, and it, this is when we learn that he has sisters, right? Because he, he's got uh, two sisters standing around him also looking at the Sears catalog with him. Other kids who could do manual. He's three. Three fucking sisters who could help with the manual labor. Yep, a third one comes in in a second. Yeah. Feminism harms men. I'll say it. I'm a, I'm finally free <laughs> to say it. <laughs> nope. Feminism would have him working. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's, yeah. It's misogyny that harms men. If they just split the chores, they could all wake up at six, damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, question for the panel. When the sister and Samuel here interact, were you getting a vibe? Like the sexual tension between the siblings? Thank you. Okay. The, like, Absolutely. Oh, they were about to make coffee sister energy together. For yes. sure. Yes. yes. Uh, I was just going to say the foster siblings. <laughs> yeah. This is the prequel. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Those people fucked each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the best part of waking up. <laughs> so then we cut to uh, dad and Sam toting a big milk container while the women sit in soft armchairs and read about <laughs> dolls in the phone book was that thing a milk container the thing that looked like it had uranium inside yes yeah okay uh -huh. is that what we use now for that I don't know I've, it's okay. been a while since I've been on a dairy farm so but yeah they're road selling trip, their milk to old trip. Mr. Carruthers <laughs> then there's this just Stupid exchange where they're just like basically they just turn to each other and they go, Well, we sure are simple impoverished farm folk, ain't we? Yes, we are. Salt of the earth. Yep, salt yeah. of the earth. It's really sad. He, he says, Times will get better. And I wrote in my notes, narrator voice. No, they literally would not. <laughs> yeah. Not for these guys. Ron Howard comes in. The 80s are gonna be great for the little guy. Nope. Nope. Sure are. <laughs> so Absolutely not. So yeah, so so Sam gets dad's present delivered by ye olde Amazon or whatever. We see him coming into the house and, and picking it up. We see them like they're splitting wood, but they're poor, so they don't have axes. So they have to use a wedge and a hammer. Yeah, like that's a thing, but just this would be a mall. It's fine. This is splittable with a mall. If it's way bigger, you could do the wedge. Come on. Just best worst axing. Best worst wood splitting. I was mad. <laughs> okay. Come on. Look, there, there's a reason these people are poor and stay poor, and it's because they don't know about our super cool Jewish malls. <laughs> 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 and we wrote their Christmas song. Yeah, well, that helps. Most importantly. If that was on this episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. So, yeah, so Sam and, and then his dad, they stop and they look at this guy. There's this really like bizarrely stupid moment where the dad's like, you see that bright star right there? Why that probably looks like the star of Bethlehem, but it's the day. Yeah. Right. Like we, we, like we, we can see the sky behind them. It is very clearly like four thirty. The kid, both the kid, the character and the actor are just like, no, because it's, because it's day. It's also completely overcast. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I wanted him so badly to be pointing at the sun and the sun's just like, that's the sun, dad. Uh. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Maybe farmer was a pretty good choice for you, huh? Yeah, actually. But the kid's like, nope, don't see it. And that's just like, well, it's the star of Bethlehem Act that you can't see. Acting. Fuck you. It's like, Do it's it. like. Yeah, he's like, I, I imagine the star of Bethlehem looked just like that. And I'm like, if this, if the next scene is them getting hit by a meteor, I will love this fucking movie, <laughs> right? Big asteroid crashes into him. Oh, it's just the rest of the movie is the, what was that Nicolas Cage one where the purple light comes out and drives everybody insane? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just Nick Cage's life. I don't know what that's movie Nick, that's yeah, what right. happened to Nick Cage in the 90s, yeah. 
So that night, they're all gathered around. They're listening to Dad read from the Book of Mormon. He starts with, and it came to pass. And then he gets like two more, and it came to passes in in this same fucking uh, Fuck yeah, passage. He hey, <laughs> also, can I say, I almost went with best worst pronunciation of Bethlehem. He's like, Bethlehem. Or the Bethlehem. Fuck he, says. he says, yeah. Bethlehem over and over again. He goes hard. <laughs> so, where the Beverly Hillbillies were born. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so he t yeah, he tells the story of Jesus in the manger or whatever. And one of the daughters is like, all that happened in a barn? And I wanted her to be like, hey, will you read the other Gospels real quick? Just to check if it, all that. <laughs> See if that also happens in them. to check if that matches up with the other stories. Hey, kid, you want to shut the fuck up real quick? All right. <laughs> Well, the little girl is like, you know, wow, we have a barn. Do you think we could have a mythical god king born in our barn? And they're like, no, we can't. We just already nope. had just the one. Cannot. I just love the that. One. Yeah, the little girl's like, just like our barn, daddy. And he's like, no. <laughs> it's just yeah. so weird. Nothing good ever happens in our barn. Why did you need to contradict this like six year old girl? Just be like, yeah, just like our barn. Whatever. Yeah. It's so weird. Sure. So, okay. So then we get Sam staring out the window at the stars. He looks at his shitty Thai gift and he's like oh this fucking sucks but dad stupid Thai not gonna make my dad love me because my dad has been a part of a series of abuses and poverty which is really linked to a larger economic problem that affects us down at the molecular level <laughs> <laughs> well to be fair it, it does suck it's a shitty it's a 65 it's cent it's a shitty Thai, thai. and he is. does become a podcaster and he doesn't yeah. find love to his <laughs> it's all about economies of scale <laughs> But then he smiles. He's like uh, we in retrospect, we know that he's just come up with a great idea, right? Gonna marry a lawyer. <laughs> so <laughs> Smart move right there. I'm writing that down. So yeah. But he's got this idea, and I was like, what are you gonna do right now? Like you're gonna get rid of the you're gonna go score some myrrh at the bowling alley right, yeah, on exactly. Christmas Eve. What are you doing? Oh, it's so much worse than that. So yeah, we we watch him like he's He's doing that thing that I do anytime I have to wake up for anything now, where you just wake up every 15 minutes starting at 1 a.m. and check and see, oh, do I have to leave for the airport now? Yeah. Right? In actual panic, like every eight minutes. It's mm -hmm. the worst. I do yeah. The same thing. Wow. <laughs> nice demonstration of DSM-5 here. We're really getting it together. <laughs> so. Yeah, and, and and of course he's he's got this little pocket watch that's loudly ticking right next to him. I'm like, oh, that's why you can't sleep right there. You got that loud ass pocket watch. But no, his plan is he wants to wake himself up before 4 a.m., get all the chores done before dad wakes up, and then let dad sleep in as his gift. Yeah, being up early and like being a man with grit and gumption is the gift for dad. But I was rooting so hard for like the sawed off head of a horse put into dad's bed as the kid. Yes. <laughs> that would have been perfect. There's a perfect shot where he opens the door and he's watching his dad sleep and I'm like, oh, he's going to murder him. Go kid, go. Yeah. There yeah. You go. yeah. Little insulin into a freckle. He just starts fucking mom. This is what you want, right? I'm a man huh? now. It's a I'm a man. Actions. Oh God. Look at me. Jesus. High five. It's a gift to actions. You're not doing it? <laughs> but no, instead of, instead of opening that tab, we go to the, uh, <laughs> we go Which to the, Which only heard of, by the way. Yeah, no, he's heard about those. But yeah, so he goes to the barn and he starts doing work. And I'm like, oh, wow, you know, a lot of, a lot of fatal accidents happen at farms when children are working. And we don't, we don't get one of those either. Yeah. Also, if he wakes up before dad wakes up, I don't think you can milk cows early right now. Keep in mind. My knowledge of cow milking comes exclusively from farming games on the computer. Mm -hmm. But I think mm -hmm. you have to wait until they're full of milk to milk them. I don't think you could just do it on your own schedule. I am 100% no information about that. I have no idea. All right. Well, there you go. I'm pretty sure you can milk a cow a couple hours early in the morning, but I don't know. It's, it's, we'll, we'll, we'll have to find out. Farmer listeners, write in. Let us know when yeah. it's... Okay, how early you can prematurely milk your cow? I don't, don't, please don't write it. In, I, we don't, we won't read it. I don't care. Um, Send so, me a video. <laughs> but, but yeah, so, and then we get him trying to lift the heavy milk thing all by himself, but he can't. So his dad will never love him now. But he does get everything done before 4 a.m., right? He, he sees dad's light come on upstairs. So he rushes to finish the last thing. He sneaks upstairs. The squeaky step comes back. Uh -huh. right? They didn't forget. All coming together. And and then he jumps in bed. He's still got his coat on, right? He jumps in bed. 
and covers up with his blanket. And I'm like, wait, so the whole idea here was that dad could sleep in. Right? Wasn't that the idea? And you're going to let dad go out to the barn and find out that all the work's done? You asshole. He could just go back to bed. Exactly. You could just say, no, dad, I already did the, all the work. You can go to bed and wake up at like, I don't know, 530 or something. 415, this, Yeah, dad, it would be really nice it. for you right now. But no, he lets dad walk out into the barn and dad's like, huh, I'm, I'm pigs are fed, I guess. And by the way, if you all want to see why your parents can't apologize, go ahead and watch this actor presenting man who is overwhelmed with joy yes. in this 1977 <laughs> film. He looks like he's trying to fart secretly in a party that's loud enough that he might get away with it. That's, <laughs> that's the peak of this man's happiness. I found it realistic. <laughs> yeah, he's overwhelmed by his son's generosity and he comes in and he says, son... I thank you. Yeah, I wrote, I wrote my notes. The words every boy wants to hear. <laughs> okay, he, he overplayed that moment. Like, fucking relax. Thank you out loud. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> so, right. Easy there. Yeah, he, go, but he says, and I quote, well, that's the nicest thing anyone has ever done for me. <laughs> Even worse, he says, nobody's ever done a nicer thing, period. And I wrote my note, dude, so many people have done such nicer things than the chores a little early. Every hand job that has ever happened, every blow job. Every, yeah, it's yeah. so. <laughs> and we don't even care for hand jobs on this store. We show we have an anti hand job position. Yeah, as a you podcast. have you have an anti hand. I like a position. Dutch rudder. So oh, interesting. <laughs> So yeah, so but he assures his son that he'll remember this gift forever. And then we hear his sisters waking up upstairs, right? They, they I guess they get naturally to, sleep into on their own time, <laughs> whenever they want. <laughs> Feminazis, sexism. Uh, so, what? But yeah, and then Dad says, you know, I've never got to see you kids come downstairs on Christmas morning because I'm always out doing the fucking chores. And I'm like, wow, your life is really sad and miserable and awful. Just wow, <laughs> life is so much better now. <laughs> also, do your chores a little later, man. Just fucking, you're the boss of you. That's the only freedom you have in this horrible grind. <laughs> Just come inside for 10 minutes and watch your kids open and doll. Okay, seriously, <laughs> this was, I, I felt very attacked by this relatable content. This is exactly what I, my dad would wake up at three something in the morning especially on Christmas because he knew family was coming over. He'd go out into his studio, start working, grinding stone, and then like family would show up, we'd do some Christmas stuff, and he'd walk in just covered in stone dust and be like, all right, now I'll do some fucking, fucking holiday, whatever, fuck, fuck, and angrily do a little bit of Christmas for the rest of the day, every year. Uh, podcast listener, Heath's dad was a sculptor, in case you were wondering what sculptor, the fuck yeah. he was, how the hell was he milking those cows that he was covered in stone Or why dust? he had to do it early? I just, I mean, look, I don't want to criticize here, but I feel like he could have just The cows were it. old. <laughs> it's dry. They make powdered milk. <laughs> That's where the creamer comes from. But yeah, but so the sisters all come downstairs. They're very excited. Uh, dad runs in with them. Sam stares at his dad like he wants to fuck him for a little bit. Yeah, I wrote my notes. Hey, dad, should we kill ourselves? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> all right. Well, I'm pretty sure the moral of that story is poverty sucks and now is better than then. And if it's any deeper than that, I'll never know because that's all we've got for this week's God Awful Minis. 